One place where they haven't got time for time savers and household gadgets, although time itself seems to stand still, is Lundy Island in the Bristol Channel. Grim, barren, and yet a perfect example of nature's beauty in its most violent mood, a precipitous granite rock three miles long and half a mile wide, with jagged cliffs rising 400 feet above the sea, a constant danger to shipping. Yet for all that, the island is home to 16 people who have given it warmth and atmosphere. Besides providing a job for men like John Evans, one of the six lighthouse keepers who man the north and south lights, the island is a sanctuary for a variety of birds. The sea route from the mainland at Ilfracoom is 21 miles, which means that commodities like coal would cost nearly 30 pounds in freight charges alone. So the inhabitants of Lundy rely on any firewood they can collect, much of it driftwood from wrecked ships. The island's bird warden, a gentle sounding name for a very tough job, is Barbara Whittaker. From spring, when flocks of seabirds wheel off the cliffs or float on the swell, throughout the breeding season until late summer when the chicks have grown enough to fly off, Barbara locates nests, counts eggs, studies behavior, and rings the chicks as a check on migration. From the Heligoland trap she has prepared, Barbara examines and cleans a song thrush before putting a ring round one leg and releasing it. This, by the way, is the island's sole means of transport ploughing along the high street. Barbara lives in a century-old lighthouse abandoned in 1947 because it was too high, its beam often being obscured by fog. However, heights don't worry Barbara, which is just as well, for her daily rounds entail clambering up and down the treacherous cliffs in all weathers. Surprisingly enough, the island, owned by Mr. Albion Harmon, whose father bought it for £16,000 in 1925, is financially self-supporting. Revenue coming from tourists who have to pay a landing fee and from the sale of its own stamps and coins. Some birds nest on the sandy slopes, some in the deep gullies and others on the jagged ledges of the cliffs. And Barbara gets to them all. Only a few years ago, a girl fell to her death here while collecting gull's eggs. Yet on the whole, that grim front is softer than it looks. Certainly the people can appreciate the compensations nature has provided.